Do, 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 do. Sorry, my camera crashed. All right, at least it kept the recording. But this is part two. All right, so let's look at this. Let's just, just look at, I don't know, triangle. All right, translate it. There we go. Well, this sure looks parallel to this, and this sure looks parallel to this, and this. In fact, it looks like every side is parallel to what it was before. That makes sense because we don't spin it at all. We just move it around and it stays parallel. So probably the corresponding line segments in the image in this image are always. But wait, there is one exception. What if you translate along a line of the shape? These, this is a pre-image, this is the image. Those are corresponding line segments and they are collinear. So mm, sometimes, basically always, unless, unless, well, I'll leave it collinear. Actually, I better fix that. Unless collinear. Give reasons for your answer. If you choose sometimes, be very clear. I we did. Parallel postulate for translation. After translation, corresponding line segments are parallel or on the same line. On to rotations, which is on the next page, let's check out. Let's check in with these guys. On to rotations. Under what conditions are the corresponding line segments of an image and its pre-image parallel after a rotation? That is, which word best completes this statement? After a rotation, corresponding line segments in an image and its pre-image are parallel. Oh, the blank goes in here. Did they screw that up in the last one? Yeah, they did. Well, obviously, if this is like this, and then we rotate it uh, 90 degrees about this point, and we'll get this city, this, this city, this, and here's a segment, and here's a segment, and they're not parallel. So not always, but af but if you go 180, now, oh, they're collinear. Bummer. OK. Okay, but wait, this line <laughs> and this line, these are parallel, and so is this line and this line. So um, after 180 degrees, you're either uh, parallel or I guess collinear in a special case. As if I didn't have a line pointed directly at the center of rotation, we wouldn't have even gotten that collinear one. Sometimes only after 180 degrees of rotation. Rotation. Come on. Come on, coffee. Gotta kick in. Based on the reasoning, right parallel postulate for rotation. After rotation, corresponding segments are not parallel unless 180 degrees was rotated. Then they are.
or collinear. Oh, we can actually say more here. Or collinear if segment is collinear. I'm off the thing. How long have I been off the thing? Collinear with the center of rotation on the reflection. Remember, there's a little blank here. I'm going back to the other packet. Sorry, guys, with the staple packet. If I gave you one, it's because I believe in you, and I, I believe you can handle it. So it's kind of like a compliment. Okay. Under what conditions are the corresponding line segments in an image and its pre-image parallel after reflection? After reflection, corresponding line segments in an image and its pre-image are... Hmm, let's look at one. Let's look at a triangle. Let's get a line of reflection in here. Okay, that's not parallel, that's not parallel, but this one is parallel. That's because it's parallel to the line of reflection. So sometimes, Only if parallel to line of uh, reflection. I'm not on the screen. That was anticlimactic. Wacha. This is line of reflect. Reflect. Should. <laughs> nice. Almost done. After reflection, lines that were parallel to the line of reflection will be parallel That's a, to their corresponding line segment line te technically line segments I hear teachers having fun in the hall I gotta wrap this up line segments they're like chatting out there talking about holiday sweaters ready for more no I think let's call it, let's call it right there. Calling it.